What are some of the differences between a neuroscientist, a neuropsychologist, and a neurologist? In this video, we're going to break down each and every single one of these career fields, their similarities, as well as their differences. So stay tuned. Let's get the video started. What's up fam, my name is Phil Sarpon, this is Phil's Guide to Psych D. This channel is dedicated to all things clinical psychology. If you are interested in psychology, if you care about self-care and mental health, or if you want a little bit of a sneak preview into what grad school might look like for you, then this is the channel for you. We're gonna start off with neurologist. So what is a neurologist? So essentially what a neurologist is, a neurologist is a physician, right? A medical doctor that is going to diagnose and treat different health conditions. So they'll primarily focus on the central nervous system as well as the peripheral nervous system, as well as the autonomic nervous system. Neurologists are going to focus in on brain and spinal cord injuries, epilepsy, multiple cirrhosis, dementia, and essentially any type of neurological condition that is focused in on the brain. So these could be neurological conditions that happen from different areas of the brain that are not functioning properly, or even neurotransmitters, or even how neurons are working in the brain. And so essentially not only are they diagnosing a lot of these disorders, but they're also going into treatment. They are the ones that are really focused in on the physiology as well as the anatomy. They understand the anatomy, but they're way more so focused on the physiology in terms of the function of the brain, in terms of the function of the body, in terms of how the brain relates to the body, and basically how diseases erupt in the brain. They could treat these conditions pharmacologically, so they could treat these conditions with drugs, or they can treat these conditions in other different areas, all right? So that is what a neurologist is. Now, how to become a neurologist? Basically, how to become a neurologist is that you're going to want to get a bachelor's degree and a lot of people will either get a master's degree or go straight into medical school. Once they go into medical school, they'll go into a four-year medical program and from there they'll go into a residency, a neurology residency where they'll spend some time basically learning specifically about the brain, about how it functions, the anatomy and all the different physiological conditions and diseases that could erupt from the brain. All right, next we're gonna talk about neuroscientists. So I'm actually really excited about neuroscientists because I think neuroscientists are really, really cool. So basically, what are neuroscientists? Neuroscientists are going to primarily focus in on the central nervous system. They're gonna focus way more so on the anatomy of the brain. So this is a little bit different than neurologists because neurologists are learning about the anatomy, but they're more so focused in on the treatment of neurological conditions. They're more so focused on the physiology of neurological conditions, but neuroscientists are primarily focused in on the anatomy of the brain. They love to basically figure out some of the neurons and the neurotransmitters and basically how the brain works. So with neuroscientists, they're not necessarily treating or diagnosing different conditions. They're not medical doctors. They're more so focusing on the research. So essentially how to become a neuroscientist is that you would go through getting a bachelor's. You may most likely go into a master's program and then get a PhD in neuroscience. And after this PhD, then you can do a number of different things in terms of research. So a lot of neuroscientists will perhaps teach in doctoral programs like clinical psychology or psychiatry or even medical school or dental school. So they may study things like meditation, they may study things like mindfulness, they may study things basically with how drugs affect certain areas of the brain. They might do research on dementia or Alzheimer's disease in terms of how the neurons function, in terms of how the neurotransmitters function. As you can see, they're really mainly focused in on the research and focusing on knowing as much as they can about the brain. So that is what neuroscientists are and that is basically how to become a neuroscientist by going into a PhD program. Now the last thing we got, we've talked about this before is neuropsychologist. What is a neuropsychologist? A neuropsychologist is essentially a psychologist that is focusing on different neurological conditions like Alzheimer's or dementia and basically focusing on how those neurological conditions affect behavior, how they affect emotions, how they actually affect people's lives. And so what neuropsychologists will do is that they'll do a number of different assessments to diagnose these 
neurological conditions and after they have diagnosed them they'll go through a number of different treatment options to basically help people helping them to live with some of these neurological conditions so how to become a neuropsychologist you can become a neuropsychologist a number of different ways you can either go into a phd program that is focusing on neuro neuropsychology or you can go into a clinical psychology program that is a PhD or a PsyD program. So as you can see, there's a number of different ways, right? You can either go into specifically a neuropsychology, PsyD or PhD program, or a clinical psychology, PsyD or PhD program. And from those, you will essentially go through about five to six years after getting a bachelor's degree, and then perhaps an additional year or two in terms of an internship or a postdoc and then you'll get your licensure and then you'll actually become a licensed neuropsychologist or a licensed clinical psychologist with a specialty in neuropsychology. So as you guys can see, there's a number of similarities between neurologists and neuroscientists and neuropsychologists. They all focus in on neurological diseases of the brain you're gonna have neurologists that are gonna be focused in on the central nervous system as well as the peripheral nervous system. You're gonna have neuroscientists that are way more focused on the central nervous system. And then you're also gonna have neuropsychologists who are gonna be focused in on the, the central nervous system, but as well as human behavior and emotions and so forth. Basically, all of these careers have different pathways in terms of schooling, right? So you're gonna have neuroscientists that are gonna get a PhD specifically in neuroscience. You're gonna have neurology that are gonna go into med school, and then you're gonna have neuropsychologists that are going into a PhD or a PsyD program for neuropsychology or for clinical psychology. They all kind of focus in on similar things, but they definitely do very different things. Neuropsychologists are always going to be focused on human behavior and emotions, while neuroscientists are gonna be way more focused in on the research and basically how the brain works. And then neurologists are going to be tying in how the brain works and connecting that with disease and diagnosing that disease as well as treating that disease. So as you can see, there's, there's a physical physician component to neurology. There's way more of a research component to neuroscientists and there's way more of a behavioral element to neuropsychologists. So if you can kind of keep those in mind as you research and apply to these different programs or apply to these different schools, I think that'll help you kind of keep the differences separate. And also to know that a number of these career fields could also potentially work together. A neuroscientist could work with a neurologist and a neurologist could work with a neuropsychologist. They all do similar things, but they all kind of need each other in similar ways in their specific specialty. So essentially those are probably the biggest similarities and the biggest differences in terms of how to get these degrees and how to become either a neurologist, a neuropsychologist, or a neuroscientist. So definitely do your due diligence in researching a number of these fields and basically trying to figure out what may be the best career choice for you. So those are the similarities and those are the differences, guys. If you guys have any questions, definitely put it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.